Sure. My Sandhiti Ghosh, today my topic is lines and angles. Lines and angles are the important and basic tools in geometry. And geometry is the important part of the mathematics. In general, we can say that any object in real space uh, which is represented as straight curve is called line. And when two lines intersect with each other, then create an angle. And the intersection point is called vertex of the angle. Now we will discuss about the basic terms and definitions of lines and angles. What is line? In mathematically, we can say that a straight path extend endlessly in both direction is called line. This is a straight path which is extend in both direction endlessly that is called line. Line segment. Line segment is the part of a line. It has a two end points that is called line segment. So it has two end points A and B is called line segment. Ray. Ray is the part of a line which has one starting point but has no end points. We can return as one starting point A but no end points. As example we can say that torch is the example of ray. So from the above discussion we can say line has no end points Line segment has two end points and ray has one starting point. Now we will discuss about intersecting lines and non-intersecting lines. Intersecting lines. What is intersecting lines? When two lines cross with each other, each other that is called intersecting lines. That means is intersect A and B and C and D, these two lines intersect at the point O is called intersecting lines. Non-intersecting lines. When two lines never cross with each other and always have the same distance apart, that is called non-intersecting lines. We also can say that it is a parallel lines like this. They never cross with each other. Now we will discuss perpendicular lines. When two lines cross with each other and create 90 degree angle is called perpendicular lines. It's called perpendicular lines. Like 
with angle which is greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degree like this type of angle angle A which is less than 90 degree now obtuse angle Greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree that is called obtuse angle. So is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. This is right angle which is 90 degree. According to definition obtuse angle which is greater than 90 degree then we can draw like this which is greater than 90 degree now we will discuss about right angle and straight angle the angle which is 90 degree that is called right angle the angle which is 180 degree that is called straight angle right angle straight angle This is straight angle and this is right angle. Now we will discuss about reflex angle, complete angle and zero angle. The angle which is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree which is called reflex angle. Picture we can say that they never can overlap. 
So it is called adjacent angles. Thank you for watching this topic. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. Like, comment and share for next topic.